so i'm doing school right now um this is the only class that started i think my other class art starts next month um but yeah i'm taking this one for my general ed it's american sign language and i'm just like reading this powerpoint of like myths and i'm like what the hell because um this one they cannot think a reason like i know some things are like okay like i understand if they're myths about people you know like deaf people or whatever but this one deaf people don't deserve to live like i just read that right now like what like i've never heard that i don't see how that's like how that could be a myth if it's not really like something that like goes like around you know like the other two things i think i've heard of um it is that they shouldn't have children you know because i guess like if it you know do you create more deaf uh children i guess um and this one they can't think or reason they can't uh read and write like you know like this i could understand people thinking that but this they don't deserve to live like that's kind of like way out there and i feel like as if <laughs> i don't know like i feel like as if my teacher is kind of um throwing her own like stuff in here or something like her own feelings and being i don't know like personal or bias or something i don't know it just feels weird okay i just read it like all this part it goes like it, it starts talking about adolf hitler and how he killed like all kinds of people and it said that that led to believing that deaf people did not deserve to live just because he happened to kill deaf people but like even since we're here he killed all kinds of people you know um brown hair people who walked with a limp uh freaking jehovah's witnesses freckles gay whatever like, there's all kinds of people he killed and yet like that kind of goes against like the next statement like this led people to believe that that they didn't deserve to live i don't know maybe i'm misinterpreting or yeah maybe i'm misunderstanding or maybe it's just written weird i don't know but i just feel like yeah this is just it's like mind-blowing to me okay i'm trying like i'm trying to understand i think um i think that the point because right away you know oh deaf people don't deserve to live like that's a, apparently a myth i've never heard of and then it goes like into talking about nazis and hitler and all like that and i feel like whoa 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 where did that come from like where does that play a part but i'm trying to understand and i feel i think like that's why all this was said like i think like my teacher is trying to say like okay this happened you know and like other people they only kind of like maybe spotted out or like um i don't know like only took what they wanted from it and they saw like oh, okay hitler killed deaf people deaf people don't deserve to live and they kind of like ignored the other like factors like oh no yeah he also killed a b and c type people you know and i guess like it's other people that kind of took the whole like adolf thing and like spinned it and felt like you know that that's what it meant that deaf people didn't deserve to live so i i'm i guess that's you know the whole point of this slide so yeah i'm just trying to understand but i think maybe that's what my teacher's trying to get at so i went to visit my parents yesterday because we took cosmo to the vet to finally get his first uh first set of shots and uh my dad he made me some bookmarks so i want to show you them this uh this part is like my youtube channel this is my little profile picture my uh my name on there a reader tarot card i like it because it's pink and then obviously the tarot um there's this one too this is my youtube banner and then there's also this one so here's a quote and then there's a picture of my brother and i who were probably like i don't know 17 or something this was like five or six years ago but um, yeah old picture quote so yeah i'm really excited to use these they're so cute and i'm thankful for my dad for making them so i wrote down some goals that i want to get done in february and i already finished two of them um so update my youtube banner i want to show you guys my new banner um the last one was so bad like i just left it because like it took me a lot of work and <laughs> so yeah i just left it it was all like blurry and stuff like that um but this one has more personality and sharp um it looks professional so 
yeah i created this on canva and i really like how it looked i even changed my um my profile picture um to one of my drawings which i might change later i just need i'm still kind of like messing with things even the banner i think i might change later too like maybe you have like two polaroid pictures like having one of like books and then another one of like an art like kind of like this like an art sketch and then use this photo as my profile photo so i think i'm gonna do that um maybe not anytime soon but yeah just like later down the line and my other goals are to make three paintings which i wrote down here i spelled hair is wrong <laughs> but um yeah, it's to do the mantis and the cicada, cicada uh, painting. I already have in mind, they're already sketched. Uh, I just need to do them, but I haven't started them yet because I'm focusing on the pet portraits I have to do. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have, I'm doing two pet portraits right now. Um, then I'm gonna start these, and then I'll have three paintings, and then I'll probably do some more, but um, after those three paintings, I'm thinking of reopening my Etsy um and posting um uh, putting up like old listings as well because i still have like a lot of like prints of old stuff um but that are still like in my current style now so i might do that but yeah i'm just trying to like get my um get like my websites and my like business kind of thing and just like media um i don't know what you call it like my social media appearance or whatever just kind of like you know better and just more professional and out there again okay so i started hidden pictures last night and oh my gosh it is so <laughs> i'm really enjoying it there's a lot of booktubers that i always hear that say that a book reads quick and i always wondered like what does that mean like does it mean like a book is fast paced because that's what i thought it meant but now i realize like what they mean um because yeah i started this book um actually like a couple days ago but i only got to like I only read like one or two pages because like I was busy um, and it was really, really late. So I count that I started this book yesterday. And so I was just reading and I felt like I like only read 15 pages. But when I looked at the page number, I actually read up to page 30. Um, so yeah, this really is a quick read. Like, so that was just like crazy to me because I've never experienced that ever. Um, other than that, like i am really loving this book i like the writing style like you could tell that the main character is young like she's 21 right now um but yeah and it just feels like she's talking to you directly and already i think it was that let me see um okay and already at page 24 there is like something creepy and like oh my gosh disturbing and i am not i don't get scared easily at all i mean i love thriller and horror like anything like books movies um I love listening to uh, podcasts like true crime that's and like you know watching gore like that stuff doesn't scare me and um but this i mean for being a book like just words and pictures because there are pictures in this book i don't know if you could um tell but there's a lot of like drawings in here that the little boy um you know creates and yeah so just like i mean a book did that and that is just like really awesome um you know on the author's part like i congratulate him because like you know if you could just like use words and like multimedia to you know make somebody feel creeped out like that's a really really good job um so yeah i just felt like my skin was crawling and it wasn't the words it was actually the drawing but it yeah it made my, like my skin crawl and i was like Ugh, like gagging like obviously not real gagging but, like fake you know i was like oh my god that's so creepy um so and he did it like a good uh, at a good pace too like you didn't see it coming like at all so that was very exciting um but yeah i am loving this book it's pretty like big and heavy i think it's uh like 400 pages but i'm taking it as a good thing where usually i'm like okay like a book is like really big you know like it's not like in not enticing but you know what i mean like it's like ugh. but i'm more seeing it as a positive like okay i hope it gets really deep into the story and you know there's a lot of like crazy information and it's actually like it'll go somewhere so i'm actually excited that this book is big and like long i guess but um yeah i'm like <laughs> i'm really loving this book i feel like it's going to be a five star and i really hope so um i mean because i love this cover too and i would love to just have like you know a five star book and to show it off and it has a good cover and everything but yeah I don't want to flip through and show you guys the drawings because i feel like that'll ruin you know 
like your experience when you actually read it sorry if you can hear my dog in the background but uh like when i first bought this book i just kind of like flipped through the pages and i saw that there's drawings and like creepy ones but i didn't see everything or even like try to look at every drawing but um yeah like definitely like seeing that scary drawing i'm like okay i do i do not want to see the pictures so i don't want to show you guys the pictures um just in case because if you read it i feel like your experience will be just like way way better if it just like kind of like pops out at you but yeah i'm loving this book so far i am so excited to read i think right now i'm going to paint because i have two pet portraits to do um and then yeah and then hopefully i make some time to read because i want to start reading this so bad okay so i was reading last night hidden pictures um yeah so i was reading i read 70 pages yesterday and i wanted to read more like i definitely could have but it was already like about to be 12 um in the morning and then also i got to page 100 so that's why i stopped and i had to make myself stop because you know i like to give like updates about the book but man like i really really like could have easily continued um here is where i'm at so yeah i think like i'm really really flying through this book um yeah, I don't really know what to say. Uh, what to say? Like, I'm still feeling exactly what I said earlier. Like, I'm really loving the story. Um, it's still like creepy. I think it was like um, there's like three or four um, already like creepy drawings. Actually, like there was like one more like scary drawing, and then now it's kind of like uh, you're seeing kind of like more realistic drawings. Well, like um, you know, like about a man like t like digging like burying a woman um and like that in itself is scary and yeah so now the story became like you know this little boy who's like drawing these scary stuff to like okay there's actually like a mystery like something something happened and so yeah and then there's also a neighbor and i believe her name is mitzi and she's like racist and judgmental but like i mean she's an old lady you know like she's like i don't even know how old like maybe like 60 so like that's kind of like to be expected you know like because old like you know traditions or whatever um like ways of thinking but like aside from that like you know really bad character stuff um she's like really cool like i really like i really like her character in general like how she's kind of like hippie-ish and um like the neighbors they think that she's like a druggie or something not that she's a druggie but like she's maybe selling drugs but um yeah i guess she does like readings like um not tarot readings but i think something else like she's just kind of like you know into that like spirituality stuff so yeah i like that about her um i like the main character even though she's young she's not like annoying or anything like and usually young characters are uh, whether they're teenagers or just young adults um but yeah she's not annoying at all which um i'm thankful for but yeah it just and i really um i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but i'm still really liking the like um atmosphere and like the vibe of the story like how you know like how she is working for this like rich family and they have a big house and they live like right behind um, or right behind their house is like a big forest park um i just wish the only thing is that because she lives in a like little like cottage shed that i think is in their backyard but it's somehow i don't know if it's connected to the park um you know and there's like trees all around her so that's kind of a little confusing like it's really hard for me to imagine that so i just wish there was kind of like uh maybe a diagram or even just like you know like if the little boy uh teddy if he even drew it like just a diagram of like the house and like the layout between the house cottage and park um just so i could like get a better idea um yeah i just wish that was in the book but other than that again like i'm still really liking it um i wanted to hurry and give you know my updates on it so i could get back to reading because i'm like really really itching to read this
date um yesterday i read 100 and like 60 pages and i'm almost done with it i need probably like 60 like around 60 or 70 pages um before i finish it so i'm planning on finishing it today um i just wanted to mention that if you watched my last vlog that i mentioned with the last book i read that i read for nine hours straight and i barely read 100 pages and with this one i um it only took me to like about around two hours to get to 100 pages so yeah that's just showing like how much i'm really really loving this book um it's still it kind of like lost its creepy factor a little bit just because now it's starting to get into the mystery um you know of what of teddy's drawings and um so yeah now it's kind of like a a uh, like a murder mystery kind of you're trying to figure out like what these drawings are um you're also getting more of a backstory now on the main character and it was like pretty sad um so yeah i'm still really liking like the direction this is going um yeah i'm not sure how it's gonna end because i'm almost like like i said i'm almost done with it so i'm not really sure like yeah where it's gonna end on but yeah i'm still really really loving this book Okay, so I just finished hidden pictures and oh my gosh I cried I cried so much I was like already like I could already I could already tell like where this was going and so like the last like seven pages I was already getting emotional sorry if you hear Cosmo in the background but yeah I was already getting emotional and like oh my god like I knew it was gonna happen um five stars oh my god this book was five stars I loved it so much like throughout the whole like time the whole okay i need to stop i don't <laughs> i wasn't planning okay i'm not gonna do a review i'm not gonna do a review i'm not trying to talk too much right now um yeah i am just like i'm just like really excited and just like crazy about this freaking book oh my god i am happy that i loved it so much because i mean look at this cover i want to you know like show it off and i had to show off like the books that are my favorite but anyways yeah this book was so 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 good it's something that's it's different than what i expected um but also way 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 better so i'm just yeah excited i'm you know it's late i think it's only like 10 right now but yeah i'm just like oh my god but um you know bad lighting obviously it's my time so i'm not gonna record right now so um tomorrow morning i'm going to give a review you know right away and oh my gosh i i'm just i'm speechless about this book but uh yeah i will get back to you guys tomorrow okay the so next day so now let's talk about hidden pictures this is about a girl who kind of had trouble you know with drugs before and now she's been clean for two years now she's trying to find a job and she finds one working as a nanny for um this family and she needs to babysit this little boy named teddy and she notices that he makes some weird drawings um and this has been happening it's not like a barely like you know all of a sudden he's drawing really cute things to creepy things like no he's been drawing these things kind of like for a while now and he wets his bed and just like these like he's just having problems and like complications or whatever and um so yeah these drawings seem to be telling the main character something like it seems like he's drawing these things and they're like making a story so she's trying to figure out okay is what he's is what he's drawing um real or is it just his imagination like what's going on um so that's what this story is basically about and throughout the whole story um you know it starts off really really fast it starts off really fast um 
you know there's a creepy drawing like right at the beginning probably like by page 20 maybe um so yeah it's like really really creepy and then the whole story though it kind of changes from creepy to mysterious and later down the road it this book ends up being like pretty sad and kind of like dark and serious i feel there was also times when i felt anxious um when whenever the main character was kind of like in um high emotion situations and it was usually with the with the parents of the child like it just i don't know you really like or at least for me like i really kind of like put myself in her shoes and i would feel like weird and just like anxious you know and there's times where you know because i've like babysitted dogs before like i've pet sitted um you know and i'm a like um perfectionist and i like to do everything right and you know don't break any rules or whatever so whenever she would kind of consider doing something i would also get anxious from that because i'm like oh like i wouldn't do that and i really like the main character i believe her name is mallory and yeah usually and she's 21 and usually like young characters authors kind of make them irritating um just because they they're young but she wasn't at all she was just a regular girl and so that's what i liked um i liked that she you know she wasn't made like okay yeah she's young let's make her do stupid things the only thing that i would say that she would do um sorry i keep putting this book down it's freaking heavy <laughs> um the only thing i would say that she would do is like lie here and there but it was kind of like usually when characters lie in books it's more like a character flaw and they're just like a bad person i guess but in here she was more like okay she doesn't want to you know tell um you know people about her past or whatever and for good reason like it's very a hurtful um a hurtful thing and she's like uh not embarrassed but like kind of guilt she feels guilt and she just doesn't want to talk about it um so you know for her being on drugs like a couple years ago it seems like it's bad you know like oh she's she's you know she used to be a druggie and she was a bad person but it's not really like that and the whole time you know i was rooting for this character so i really really liked her this book also has a lot of twists and turns so when you think you know where it's going it's not actually going you know in that direction and it to like there was a bunch of things that totally caught me off guard i was like oh my god like what the heck i wish i, I wish i was recording my um reaction but yeah i did not expect like those things at all so it was really really like cool um so yeah there's a lot of twists um sad oh my gosh the ending the ending made me cry i think i was already feeling like emotional like in the last like seven pages because uh, i could already like tell that that's where it was going um but yeah, I love that. I love when books make me cry. I love when, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to get into too much. So um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of more things that I want to say in this book. But, you know, it would be a spoiler. I feel like it would not, it would just, it would spoil of a good time, you know? So yeah, I loved this book so much. Um, I've been wanting to read it for a long time. And I'm happy I finally got, you know, got to reading it um again it was five stars like i mentioned um yeah i just i had such a great time reading this sorry i keep moving my book but yeah i had such a fun fun great time reading it. i think it only took me three days to read this and i was just eating it up like constantly um and i went i flew through it like so so quick so yeah this is a really good book and i would highly recommend it if you like books that are like about children and like uh ghosts and creepy things you know little kids drawing creepy things um and things that kind of have like a more of a serious like tone and that there's a, a mystery um so yeah if you're if you're okay with like you know the creepy aspect i think this is a really really good story um so yeah that is it thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.